And I'll tell you something else too. Watch out for watch watch who you follow. Watch who you follow because there's a lot of popular preachers out there. They don't walk in love. Now, I'll tell you, Joel Osteen, he's a man of God. He walks in love. He makes time for people. He loves his people. That's a good pastor. All right? Um, he doesn't like confrontation. I mean, he, I, sometimes you need to confront. But, you know, I mean, I, I, he, he's, he's got more good than, than bad. You ain't going to go to hell. You go to Lakewood. All right? I've been to Lakewood. I met Joel Osteen. Good guy. But there's some other preachers out there. They don't walk in love. You got to make appointments to see them. They got bodyguards around them. You don't want to, you don't want that. All right. If that's what you want, then you have to look at the fruit, look at the fruit. And if, if the fruit is love, then stay. If it's not love, then go take your, take, take yourself and just go to a different church. But watch who you follow because they can lead you astray. And it's very important. Now, the thing is, Satan, he will de he's he's the master of deception and he deceives. That's why it's so I mean it's so critical, Christian. You gotta you gotta understand who you follow and understand get to know that preacher, have a relationship with that preacher, having a relationship with Jesus. It's so critical. Um because you can be you can be read as read as straight. Now I learned this too in my experience. That of all the the demonic type of strongholds, we're talking about lust, we're talking about anger, we're talking about fear, we're talking about all those things that the devil uses to control people. The most dangerous spirit, the most dangerous one, is is that spirit of religion. Okay? Because the spirit of religion is the one that crucified Christ. The spirit of the religion is the one that you think you're doing good, but you're really doing evil. And 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 you can be deceived. And look, Paul was deceived. He wrote like most of the New Testament before God himself had to come down and intervene. And then they had had somebody go and, and pray for him. But I'm telling you, you got to watch out because there's something coming. And you better be close to Jesus every single day. Every single day you, you pray to God and seek his word. And, and, you know, like everybody gets distracted. I was on the Internet a little bit longer than I should have on my iPad watching some shows. But it, it's... You, you got just the next day you get back up and you start getting into your word and, and it's like soap scripture observa observation application prayer you have to spend every single day reading your word of God you got to read your word you got to read the Bible like like it's like your life depended upon it 